It's time. It's, it's that time. time. We're here. We got the queen with her fresh crown. And crowns. That she smolted herself. <laughs> Just kidding. I dipped it in the iron. Yeah. I gave her the much better one. It's heavy. It's actually a heavy crown. Yeah. I got a little big head, you know? Yeah. And <laughs> it doesn't quite fit. Not as big as okay. mine. I don't you know. I think forehead? we both have a big head. You can shine your shoes in this forehead. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You can go bowling with my head. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, it's late, but this is the Father Ted Christmas special. Yay. So. Late Christmas. Yeah, apologies. We had a lot of stuff going on. Christmas in January. And she's the busiest bee in the world. I am very busy. So, finally got her down to do the Father Ted. Oh, do the jingle. Do the jingle. Yeah, I remember. Oh, the Father Ted, Father Ted, what you gonna do today, Father Ted? What you gonna do today, Father Ted? Da -da 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 -da. I like it. I like yeah. the guitar solo. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, what does this say here? It says, yeah, let me... It's heavy. <laughs> All right, so what is this Kind of gave him a preview for some of the streams coming up, so... <laughs> Uh, priests evac from lingerie department. Christmas special. What are they doing in there? I don't know, but it's probably not good. Probably not. No. So, I guess we'll figure out what's going on here. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this, uh, because we haven't done a Father's Head in like no, three I'm weeks No, I'm really now, excited. So. I miss him. Yeah. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's get into it. Start <laughs> that for a peanut <laughs> wait a minute hold on yeah there we go okay he gets that dream broken up broken up by Dougal <laughs> the way he pushed him I was like it's emergency no he just wants to give him a peanut after all that I'd be pissed yeah oh my god how would you feel if I woke you up for a peanut like that well I'm allergic to peanuts so I, I would be very um, worried about what your intentions were. Yeah. <laughs> you walked me down for me a peanut. God, Dougal. Oh, sorry, Ted. <sighs> Go to bed. <laughs> now, where were we? <laughs> where were we? <laughs> oh, it's a Cali dream. This is definitely a Cali Green. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness. Wow. Christmassy Ted. One, two, three. Hey! They are. Oh, they are, Ted. Yeah. Oh, wait now. What? You've gone off again. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, yeah, that's it, Ted. They're back. No, God, they're gone again. Right, wait a minute, Ted. No, keep it like that. No, gone. Oh, God, Ted. That's it, Ted. You're a genius. Gone again. Right, back. Gone. Back. Gone. Back. Gone. Back. Dougal, just sit down. <laughs> oh, Ted. Can I open another window on the advent calendar first? All right then, but remember you're just in- That's the kind of stuff my dad does with the lights. He's like, no, 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 Yeah. Now to open today's window. Oh, Shepard, great, fantastic stuff. <laughs> oh God, Ted, can I not open the other two? No, Dougal. <laughs> God, Ted, I can't wait to find out what's behind tomorrow's one. Uh, I bet it's a donkey or something. <laughs> All right, so you've uh, changed from your initial prediction. What was it again? Rude Hullet sitting on a shed, wasn't it? <laughs> Almighty Dougal, where do you get these things? Do you know what? I'd say it's probably just a lovely angel. What would you say is behind tomorrow's window, Father Jack? A pair of fucking women's liquor! <laughs> I have no idea what he said except, uh, 
the F word stuff. The F word and women is what I heard. I think I heard women too. Oh my god, Father Jack. Well, who knows? Knickers! Yes, Father. Women's knickers! Yes, oh, women's Father! Knickers. Yes, oh, yeah. message okay. understood. God Almighty. Do go. I thought he said the N word. I was like, oh my god. I don't. I don't. <laughs> What's behind the door? Okay. N I C K E R. Is that how you spell? Knickers? I think oh no, so. it's K. Is there a K in front I of it? I think there's a. Is there a K in front of a. Uh... Is there a K in front of your knickers? <laughs> yeah. Let us know. Yeah, let us know. Leave the calendar until tomorrow. I don't think I've ever had to spell that word out. <laughs> you don't call anything knickers here. No. Did <laughs> 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 oh, Another year gone. It's hard to believe, isn't it? I mean, what's it all about, Dougal? Well, it doesn't really have a story, Ted. You know, it's just about football and stuff. <laughs> no, Dougal. I mean life. You know, you slave away attending to the needs of your parishioners. And what do you get? A one-way ticket to Palookaville. <sighs> you know, <laughs> I looked in the mirror this morning and I saw a middle-aged, grey-haired man staring back at me. Who was that, Ted? <laughs> I love Dougal. Me, Dougal? Oh, yes, of course. It's just that I got a Christmas card yesterday from Father Jess Flavin. <laughs> He's in Montana. He makes $50,000 a year and 2,000 in tips. Father Brilliant. Just... How does he manage that? Did he say Father Jess Flavin? I don't know. I didn't catch that part. Oh, yes, of course. It's just that I got a Christmas card yesterday from Father Jess Flavin. <laughs> He's in Montana. He makes $50,000 a year and 2,000 in tips. Brilliant. How does he manage that? I don't know, lap dancing or something. <laughs> and then there's Father Buzz Dolan in Canada. He has his own show on cable. And I hear he's landed a bit part in the new Bond movie. It all started for him when he won that Golden Cleric Award. Wow. <laughs> Must be great to be famous. Do you know what I love about being famous? <laughs> People really listen like to you. Wow. They listen to what you have to say. And I have a lot to say. But what about when you're doing your sermons, Ted? People listen to you then, don't they? Ah, no, Dougal. I mean people I respect. <laughs> I suppose the great oh, thing would be to make a big speech. Day. You see, you just talked right across me there. Even you don't listen to me. I do, Ted. Now, that's not fair. Well, I don't anyway, know, but it just I seems to me that you're going to be sick recently. I suppose it's a topic. <laughs> so, Father, are you looking forward to Christmas? I am indeed, Mrs Doyle. A nice, quiet Christmas. That's what I want. A nice, quiet Christmas with no unusual incidents or strange people turning up. That would suit me down to the ground. A nice, quiet, normal, everyday Christmas. <sighs> oh, there's the door. <laughs> there we go. Oh, jeez, who's this gonna be? <sighs> oh, a baby! I wish that happened to our door. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you don't want to make one first? I want both. Oh, yeah? You just want all the babies? I want all the babies! I want all the babies! <laughs> all the babies. I want all the water! <laughs> and then after that, I want to give it to all the babies! <laughs> <laughs> you okay? It's a cute baby! <laughs> it is a cute baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, is this Mrs. Riley's house? Uh, no, Ed, that's uh, just down the road. Oh. Thanks very much. <laughs> the very strange. Very odd. Who was that, Ted? Ah, uh, it's just some woman looking for Riley's house. She had a baby with her. <laughs> for a moment, I thought somebody had just left it on our doorstep. <laughs> God, Ted, could you imagine what would have happened if she'd left it with us? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We'd have been looking after it and everything and getting into all sorts of hilarious jams. <laughs> the whole thing would have been very, very funny. <laughs> well, uh, it wouldn't have been that funny, Ted. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> and the liquids just come out here. Now, you've already punched in your selection from milk and sugar, so all the work is taken out of it, leaving the modern... I feel like the quality of this is much better, too. What do you mean? Like the video. Usually the, uh, 
Oh, Father Ted yeah, Day you're right. A, it's a lot clearer. like, not yeah. as good. But this one's a lot clearer. Like, it was, it, it was like a movie or something. Yeah. You know? Woman had plenty of time for running a business or scheme. Simple flick of a switch and you can access coffee. Okay. <laughs> what? I don't think I've ever seen her face that that close or close. Or close. <laughs> so all the work is taken out of it, leaving the modern woman plenty of time for running a business or scheme. Simple flick of a switch and you can access coffee, hot chocolate, or Horlicks. Yes, Tea Master really takes the misery out of making tea. Well, what do you think? Maybe I like the misery. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I thought some perfume for Mrs. Doyle. Good idea, Ted. Perfume is the ideal mm -hmm. woman present, isn't it? Yes, well, that's why God invented perfume, so you don't have to put any thought into it whatsoever. <laughs> oh, uh, where did you manage to stick Jack in the end? Oh, they've got this great place, Ted, where you can put people who don't want to go shopping. They can just stay there and have a laugh. Really? <laughs> Never heard of that. But there are other people there. Oh, loads of people, Ted. You'll be fine. <laughs> Drinking? It looks. <laughs> oh no, he's smoking a cigarette. Crap, I gotta cut that out. With children. Perfume. Perfume. You think you'd be able to smell it? So yeah, like that. For those who don't know, I've had to cut out numerous things because I've gotten videos flagged for somebody smoking a cigarette. YouTube doesn't like smokers. So, yeah. So, um, he put he put Father Jack in a little kid's play area type thing yeah so but most of you guys have probably already seen this so where exactly are we now well we're in the um in the oh, we're in lingerie we're in lingerie <laughs> come on there Ted think about it two priests hanging around near ladies secret things it just doesn't look good <laughs> where is the exit oh my god oh, look we're in bras this way Oh no, more underpants. I mean, why do they need so many kinds of underpants? Huh? I mean, what? Do they parade around in them looking in mirrors all the time? <laughs> Billy! Terry! Ted, Ted Trilly. How are you? Good to see you both. We got a bit lost in the store, that's why we're here. We got a bit lost. <laughs> I suppose that's why you're here as well. Lost? Uh, yeah. That's right. Yep, that's it. That's it, exactly. We lost. We lost. We're our, lost. Um... <laughs> I don't suppose you know the way out of here. It's uh, Ireland's biggest lingerie section, I understand. Really? Yeah, I read that somewhere. <laughs> I think the best idea is for us to get out of here as quickly as possible. You know, four priests hanging around the um, freely section. Yes, I see what you mean. Let's, let's try this way. Oh my god, dude. He's having dude. so much fun in there. He's oh. having a great time. Nora! Nora, what Knock do you it think? Off. Nora. What? <clears throat> that dog, man. Uh, no, I swear, she like... She like licks herself all over and it sounds disgusting. Cause like, you I know. know. It's not just a normal licking sound. I've heard her at like, night. <laughs> Don't be mean to her. It's like a pig eating slop. Come here. You big girl, you getting chunky yeah, chunky. She's a fat little hot dog. Oh, Denora. She's getting a bath tomorrow. Yeah. Her haircut. Wait a second. We've been here. I remember these brass from the first time round. Oh, they all look the same to me. No, no. These ones have double padding and the black lace outline, along with the little cotton supports and the extra strength straps. If we pass by a bra with a middle arch support and single padding and the white lace outline, then I think we're on the right track. Someone's coming. Someone's coming. Why are all the priests over there? <laughs> because they're like little horny perverts who don't know what it what it's like to actually have a woman. Oh. Glad to see you. What happened to you? We were looking for the toilets and we wandered in here by mistake. Get out! It's huge! It's Ireland's biggest laundry section, I understand. Right, this is the situation. We have eight priests hanging around the laundry section. If there's one or two of us, <laughs> that'll be embarrassing. But eight? We're talking national scandal. What are we gonna do? All the aisles look the same. Right, first thing, don't panic. Oh my God, who was that? Hold on, who was that? Was one or two I've of recognized us. that. That'll be embarrassing. But eight, <clears throat> we're talking national scandal. What are we gonna do? All the aisles. 
That looks like I could be wrong, but it looks like uh, the guy from. Remember, I tried to get you to watch that uh, Rome show on HBO. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the guy who plays uh, Lucius Farinas. I don't think it's him, but it does look like it does him. look like him. It could have been him when he was a little bit younger. You want to go though. down? Yeah, she wants okay. to. She wants to bounce out of here. She's done. <laughs> this is an eventful little reaction we got going on. So, Queen Boomer, anyway, I was uh, going to talk to you about some uh, getting you into more reaction videos. I'm glad you mentioned that. So, anyway, we're going to have to, we're going to put down a schedule and uh, we're going to talk about it and we're going to do some more. What are and you, talking you have to. About? Oh, there you are. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> huh? I'll mess up my hair. I'll mess up what I want. My hair is beautiful. It is beautiful. All right. But yeah, I think this is Lucius Veritas from Rome. Could be wrong, though. Right, first thing, don't panic. We're in this thing. Let's try and get out of it, okay? Billy, I want you on point. Father Cleary, Father Deacon, you take up the back. Let's go. And keep it quiet. <laughs> it's definitely him. It's definitely him. Like it's a jungle. Like a woman's just gonna pop out. I like all the jungle voices they added in there. <laughs> the show oh my god. <laughs> the show is so Jack. wacky. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I've been in this damn laundry section so long. <laughs> I don't think this knows. You take a rest, Father. Father Riley, you go on point. <laughs> okay, Father Deegan. There's no way out. There's just no way out. They're gonna get us. They're gonna get us. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so wacky. <laughs> Damn it, Deegan. <laughs> hang on, hang on. You don't expect this kind of thing in the priesthood. I only left the seminary two weeks ago. If they find out I'll never get a decent parish, they'll send me off to some bloody kit. What are we gonna do? Listen to you. It is him. I recognize his voice. Oh, okay. It is. It's just so weird seeing him like this. Yeah. And then in Rome, he's like this crazy uh, centurion badass. Yeah. I'm gonna make you a promise. One day, you and I, we're gonna be in that new parish of yours, sipping iced tea on the lawn. And this will all be just a memory. Can you hold on to that thought? Can you can you do that for me? Like at war. Yeah! Oh, 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 I was messing about with one of these brows and a strap flew back and hit me in the eye. Oh, 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 oh. just my ankle as well. Oh, let's get you up. Oh, it's my stupid fault for messing with the brows. I go on ahead, slowly slow you down. Listen, we're a team. We're sticking together. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, this is wild. I love this. This is episode. wild. I'm loving this, dude. This is probably one of my favorite uh, videos I've reacted to in a long time. It's There's so the exit. Goofy. Thank God. God, look at all those people. They definitely see us coming out. Maybe if you actually buy some underpants, then it wouldn't look so strange. They're women's underpants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. Attention, lady shoppers. Gifts for husbands, like pipes and slippers, are now Come available here. on the first floor. Who's got the most boring voice? What? Of the lot of us, who's got the most boring voice? Not it'll be me, Ted. <laughs> Listen, I have an awful dreary, monotonous voice. Going me. Yes, 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 yes. Listen, Ted, were you asking for a dramatic, exciting voice? No, he said boring. He wanted a boring voice. In that case, you must excuse me for my impetuous interruption. <laughs> Listen, this is what we're going to do. What's going on? I think Ted has a plan. No, I mean in general. <laughs> I way out of the laundry section. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, could you please bring your purchases to the checkout as the store is about to close? Hurry up. Come on. Hurry up, will you? 
Hurry up. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Hold on. Check out as the store is about, about to close. Hurry up. Come on. Hurry up, <laughs> will you? Not that way for fixing. You know it. Go! Go! Oh my god. This is so wild. Oh my god. What a sequence that oh was. Oh my god. Just going to the mall. Unbelievable. Oh. What's wrong, Dougal? Ah, it's just three lads pointing at a star's head. That's a bit disappointing. Why? Well, what's that got to do with Christmas? <sighs> Anyhow, there's nothing in the Catholic scandal supplement about the laundry episode. I think we got away with it. Hello, uh, Craggy Island Parochial House, Father Ted Crilly speaking. Hello, Ted. Tom McCaskill here. <laughs> Hello, you Tom. How are you? <laughs> and where are you? You left in an awful hurry. I'm in Rome. Oh, when are you coming back? When things have died down a bit, I might have to head off to South America for a while. You know, she's going to write a bloody book about it. Ah, uh, no, that's not fair. <laughs> I'll catch up with you about that Lourdes thing. It was looking a wee bit dodgy there for a while. Just, just, just let me st stop you right, right, right there, Tom. Uh, that money was just resting in my account at the time. <laughs> oh, shut up, Google. <laughs> anyway, Ted. It must be, uh, Rome must be where the party's at. I guess that's so. the head of the Catholic yeah. Church, so. That must be where the party's at. Where the party at. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Yo. I know that. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, I know what the Pope is. Well, it's more than just the Pope. It's all pope the Cardinals, right too. I have no idea. Do you know? I think it's Pope. Is it Pope Francis? Francis? Yeah. Francis! Is it Francis? Are you out there, Francis? <laughs> Are you out there? Are you Pope? Francis! Spaceship 12 calling I like Francis. The pope Mobile. Do you know? Have you ever seen the Pope, the pope Mobile? Oh, the like fancy car that they ride in? Yeah. It's like a glass dome, and he just sits in there and waves. You've never seen that? I thought he drives around in, like, one of those, like, 1920s or 30s styles, like, uh, Rolls Royce oh, wait, type things. Oh, no, cars. babe, the Pope Mobile is, like, like a, how a Barbie doll's in, like, a box. He's in a glass box. Yeah. And he okay. waves. I need to show you it. <clears throat> what, like, he's on dis on sale? Yeah, that's what it looks for like. For display? That's what it looks like. Oops. Whoopsie. Yo, you a big beaver for getting the lads out of trouble the other day. We'd like you to have a golden cleric. A golden cleric? You're not serious. I'm deadly serious. Oh, God, I, I don't feel worthy when I think of all the other priests who've won it. Alberto! Alberto, please! <laughs> you deserve it. You managed to avert a very tricky situation and prevent another scandal in the church. Father Billy and the rest of the lads will drop the award over to you tomorrow. Oh, and is there a, sorry about this, but is there, um, is there any sort of cash prize with that? <laughs> I'm afraid not, Ted. We're a bit strapped for cash here at the moment. Anyway, see you soon. <laughs> oh, they're having a grand time. Dougal, fantastic news. You're getting married. No, I'm not. <laughs> Yo, I love this show, man. This show is... I uh, love Dougal. Do yeah. We all need a Dougal. Is that a joke? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm being given a Golden Cleric Award. <laughs> Oh, God, I'll have to write a speech. It'll have to be absolutely brilliant. It's not every day you win an award. Award! Uh, no, no, Father, you can't have an award. Why not? Award! Award! Yes, award! Father. Award! Oh, yes, father. Yes, father. Award! Yes, Father! Award! Yes, Father! There you are. Right! Photo! Photo! Dougal, <laughs> take a photograph. <laughs> That 
Flash made it like ten times funnier, dude. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh, he was so proud of his coffee mug. <laughs> He's like, award, award. That flash. That flash killed me, yo. <laughs> and then he just breaks it. Tomorrow night to watch the scary film. Oh, no, 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 no. The last time you watched a scary film, you had to sleep in my bed. I wouldn't mind, but it wasn't even that scary a film. <laughs> Come on now, Ted. A Volkswagen with a mind of its own. <laughs> Driving all over the place and going mad. If that's not scary, I don't know what is. <laughs> Dougal, it's a children's film. If you can't deal with that, how on earth are you going to be able to take a film about a burglar who runs into people's houses and kills everybody? Is that, is that what this one's about? Yes! If you want to meet priests your own age, listen in on the latest gossip or simply have a bit of a laugh. Then call Priest Chat back and speak to priests you want to know. You know one of the... Uh, I call. You know one of the Boomerites told me they said that this is actually not an Irish production. It's, it's a British production. Yeah. Just making fun of Irish Catholic priests. Oh, and okay. apparently... When this aired in Ireland, a lot of the older Irish generation were livid about it. Oh, they were mad? Yeah, that's what I was told. I don't know if it's 100% true. Yeah. But the, the younger Irish generations loved it. Oh, I think it's so funny. Yeah. Which I can see. I can yeah. totally see that. But uh, anyway, if you heard you that... you gotta ta not bit, take stuff too serious. Right, exactly. But if you heard that bit, let me know if that's true. Because uh, I did have one boomerite tell me that. And I, th I found that very interesting. I told you. Why? <laughs> that was a great commercial. I'm gonna fall again. I don't understand. <laughs> oh right. I got the presentation case for my award. Oh, great, Ted. Fantastic. I think I'll put it here, over the creaky floorboard. If any robbers come in and try to rob my award, <laughs> we'll hear them. Uh, very few priests get this award, you know. It'll mean I'll be one of the top priests in the country when oh, I get right. my award. Oh, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear what I was saying there? I, I'm one of the top priests in the country. Did you hear that? I said it there just a second ago. I did, yeah. <laughs> well, it's not before time, Father. I always thought you were one of the best priests in the country. Thank you very much, Mrs. Doyle. One of the best? Or maybe the best? <laughs> Go on, Mrs. Doyle. Honestly, would you say I'm the best priest in the country at the moment? Well... If you don't think I'm the best priest in the country, just say so. I honestly won't mind. I'd say you might be the second best. <laughs> No, it's, it's all right. I'm not the best priest in the country. I'm honey, the second best. But who's first? I know, that's what I'm curious about. Yeah. I don't know. Is it Father Jack? I hope so. Fuck! <laughs> There's somebody good. better than me, apparently. Well, Father, I was just thinking of those priests who work in very poor areas. Oh, yes, of course. Those lads. Father Archbishop Desmond Tutu and the likes. <laughs> Well, I think Archbishop Tutu is a Protestant man. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, great. So, Protestant is better than me. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh. Continue this. I'm not the best. I'm just second best. Apparently, the Golden Cleric is a runner-up prize. Well, I'm so sorry. Obviously, I'm just an idiot. Obviously, I can't even say Mass properly. Father, I was no, just... No, don't take it back. That's what you said. You said I'm not the best priest in the country. That's fine. I just want to know where I stand. Obviously, now I'm going to have to jack it in. What? I'm leaving the priesthood. <laughs> I'm going to write a letter to Bishop Brennan asking for early retirement, and maybe when I go, you can ask the other priest, Father Peter Perfect, the perfect priest, to come here, and you can work for him, since he's obviously such a great priest. <laughs> the alarm drag at the end. Because <laughs> he missed the door at first. Oh, no. Like, it, it was probably a mess up, but they kept it in. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, God. Oh, nice having a mindful walk on the beach. He does already. He's, he's having another weird dream. He's gonna sing a song. I hope he sings a song. <laughs> Expecting that. That <laughs> came out of nowhere. Oh. Oh my god. How far oh my god, we still have 34 <laughs> minutes. We're only like we're not even wow. Oh my god. <sighs> this this might kill me. This might kill me. Sorry about that. Get, get your knee, Jet! Wait there till I get you. Wait till I get you. <laughs> <laughs> you really like that. Wait till I get you. <laughs> I'm coming over here. Wait till that's I get like you. that's like what a grandfather says to his like five year old kid when he's like chase trying to chase him <laughs> yeah. around the living room. <laughs> Wait till I get you, kid. <laughs> You're either getting a nuggie or a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> I'll just sound when I get over there. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make it, dude. <laughs> Queen's done. The Queen's done. She's out. Oh my god. <laughs> I really like that he was in his little. Mind I don't think thing. I've ever seen a, a video make you like cry. You're basically crying right now. From laughter. <laughs> you know, it, that kind of reminded me of, for some reason, uh -huh. the Happy Madison movie when he goes back to his house and it's like Grandma's uh, ghost is above the house. Happy Madison? Yeah. No, happy... <laughs> happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore, that's what she means. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's Chubbs, uh, Abraham Lincoln, and the alligator. And if you didn't know, alligators are my favorite animals. And I really like Abraham Lincoln, so I really. <laughs> I sound so strange. Should we just stop this? I sound so strange. <laughs> the time. <laughs> oh, this is why they love you, my queen. This is why we <laughs> need you more strange. on the channel. Okay, sorry. Because you're so strange and beautiful and lovely. <laughs> now I'm gonna cry because you're so nice. Ugh. <laughs> oh. That's why I picked you. <laughs> Get through it, can you? We it literally took us three minutes to get through twenty seconds of that. I just like they put Dougal in there at the end, and he's looking around like, "What the fuck am I doing?" Oh, oh my god! Oh, this is the me. bet. Oh, I mean, we love we love Father Ted, but this is by far the best one so far. Oh my it, dear like, lord! It's like the shows. The episodes get better, but also the show itself, like as the show goes on, gets yeah. so funny. And apparently, oh there, there's more seasons also. So we're still only on season one. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Holy oh, cow! Oh my god! Holy cow! This may have to be a two-part series. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And speak to you want to know. Welcome to Priest Chat Back. If you are under 18 or not a priest, please hang up now. <laughs> if you wish to speak about the Pope's visit to Mexico, say yes now. <laughs> 
you want to speak about being vaguely unhappy but not being able to figure out exactly why, say yes now. Oh, oh wait, yes, yes. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Yes. Is that being vaguely unhappy but not being able to figure out exactly why? No. This is how to break the news of a death. We were just talking about <laughs> techniques. I say it's best to just get it over with quickly. Your husband's dead, and he's not coming back. Get used to it. Ah, uh, yes, but <laughs> sometimes a few little yeah. hints help, like, uh, remember how your husband used to love a good laugh? Yeah, but, you see, my problem is that I, I should be on top of the world because I've been given an award, but the fact of the matter is that I... <laughs> Stupid priest! <laughs> some respect. This is a priest-only line. Are you priests? <laughs> What do you call him, a wanker? A big priest! Some respect. This is a priest only line. Are you priests? These are a bunch of wankers. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought would call something like that. Yeah. Father, um, while you were out for your walk, we had a phone call. I think you were supposed to do a funeral today. <gasps> funeral? I completely forgot about it. It's all right. <laughs> Father Maguire said he'd do it. <laughs> Douglas, do your funeral! You let Douglas do a funeral! Three of them. Wow! Oh my god! I forgot who Priest McGuire was for a second, and I was like, oh shit! Yeah, Dougal. it's Dougal. Oh no. Oh, man. Oh, Ted, it's no use. I'm just so excited about Christmas, I can't sleep. Dougal, you'll never get to sleep like that. <laughs> You'd have a much better chance of sleeping if you got off the bike. All right. <laughs> what are you up to yourself, Ted? Oh, I'm just writing my speech for tomorrow. <laughs> God, it's brilliant so far. <laughs> what do you put in speeches? You'd normally thank everybody, wouldn't you? No, not in this case, Dougal. You see, I got this award through my own initiative and hard graft, so there's nobody else to thank you except myself. Actually, that's a good idea. I'll thank myself. Wow. Is that the speech? Mm -hmm. oh, no, these are, these are just the notes, really. <laughs> now, see here, for example. This is a list of people who've really fecked me over down the years. <laughs> Father Jimmy Fennell. He really needs taking down a peg or two. And Father P.J. Clavert, oh, wait a minute, he's on the wrong list. He should be under liars rather than twats. <laughs> they said your word? Yeah, yeah, I love that word. I know you do. A twat, twat, but for them it's twats. Twat. Twat. I like twat better than twat. You bald mank twat. At last I got a chance to shine, to, to stand out, to be recognised. I recognise you. Look, it's Ted. <laughs> no, do, I mean recognition of my, my abilities, of my achievements. All right. And, and what achievements are these? <laughs> Shut up, Dougal. Um, Hope Larry Duff's coming. Catch my big moment. Actually, I'll give him a call. <laughs> Hope he makes it. <laughs> Larry's tremendous fun, you know. He loves award ceremonies. <laughs> oh! I think it was trying to like do the sounds of him like hurting oh, himself. Oh, him hurting! Oh, yeah. I it think sounded. It, like, it sounded so goofy though. It sounded yeah. like <clears throat> like what? I don't know how to say what I want to say. Don't tell me you think it sounded like porn. <laughs> oh yeah, let me die! What kind of porn do you watch? <laughs> Korean porn. Korean porn. <laughs> Okay, for anybody who's Korean who watches this channel, on behalf of Queen Boomer, I would like to apologize. I'm so sorry. Okay? <laughs> Jesus, babe. What? Korean porn. No. What am I 
you pick it up when they're like, oh, I'm gonna... you know what I mean? <laughs> the Japanese language? Oh my god, I sound so bad. I'm not trying to be. Let's, let's just... But that's what it sounded like when he was falling down. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Okay. Oh, wait, no. He's on holidays. Well, I won't disturb him. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try and get to sleep one more time. Ah, it's no use. <laughs> Dougal, here's a good way to get to sleep. Just try and empty your head of all thoughts. <laughs> I'll give it a go, but I really don't think... <laughs> Ted, it's the one thing I didn't expect. <laughs> Dougal, Dougal, aren't you going to open your presents? Oh, wow. Presents. <laughs> I completely forgot about the presents. First the calendar, now presents. <laughs> Can't get any better than this. <laughs> ah, brilliant! <laughs> Happy Christmas, Mrs. Doyle. Oh, Father, you shouldn't have. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's a... You know, I was racking my brains trying to think, what would Mrs. Doyle really love for Christmas? And then I thought, you know, something to take the misery out of making tea. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Doyle, the days of housekeepers making tea are over. We can't live in the dark ages. You've made your last cup of tea in this house. <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> Wow, what a face. She, no, not a fan. Oh my god. If I know people the way I think I do, she really loves that present. <laughs> a brilliant thing! <laughs> How did you know? I know, don't think I hadn't noticed those little hints you left lying around the place. <laughs> oh my god. When he first walked in, I thought he had a Mickey Mouse costume on. Oh, did you? Yeah, because I saw the ears coming out. <laughs> He's thing. A matador. I've never seen that. Well, I'm not really familiar with matadors, but I've never seen a hat like that. Oh, really? No, but from far away, I was like, what, is Mickey Mouse coming through the door? <laughs> he was good. I got a matador costume. <laughs> <laughs> present! 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on! Happy Christmas. Back off! <laughs> Who could that be? Oh. Ceremony isn't until two. Father, it's... Ted! <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> I haven't missed the ceremony, have I? No, no, not at all. You haven't changed a bit. You're a rascal. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Well, that was a first. Sorry, our camera got too hot. Our camera got too hot. We had a hot camera. It literally went beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and then it said, camera too hot, shutting down. But we <laughs> wanted to continue and finish this because it, it is so damn good. Oh my God, it's so good. This it's way. so good. This it, this might be my favorite video we've ever really? done, I think. Yeah, I'm having so much fun that, doing this That like, one. one stretch killed me. <clears throat> oh my God, that killed me. Yeah. I mean, a bunch of stuff killed us. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. But uh, let's take this opportunity to wish all the Boomerites a happy new year. Yeah, it's happy new year to all of you. I hope yes. this year is better than your last. I hope you reach all of your goals. Mm -hmm. I hope all the good things happen to you. Likewise. And uh, late Merry Christmas. Yeah. Since this is a Christmas special, um, we thought we were going to get it done right around Christmas time, but, you know. Yeah. Family things pop up, and then I had all the issues with all the equipment that I just got. Yeah, so. it took us a while to figure out how to get all the computer stuff made. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Michael. Don't take anything to you break, I fix. No. They had Nothing. this thing for three weeks. Yeah. But, so uh... It's fixed now. Yeah. So... Let's continue this, because we still got about a little less than halfway to go. Yeah. So, there we go.
<laughs> what? Well, what about the hair? All oh, right, well, the hair, it's a, it's a, it's a different shape. Colour? Colour, colour, yes, of course. It, it used to be red. Brown. Blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Hello there, are you back? I suppose he told you all about me. No. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> hey, tell you what. Why don't you stick the old name and address in the, uh, the book, you know? Especially the name. Very important that you write the name very, very clearly. Uh, I'd love to, Ted, but I can't really write. You see, one time last year I was running with scissors and I fell and the nerve that controls handwriting was completely severed. <laughs> Father, what? are you not going to introduce me to the new father? <laughs> oh, right. Right, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you what. See if you can guess. <laughs> guess? <laughs> Come on, have a go. God, Father, sure it could be anything. <laughs> Still, though, give it a try. <laughs> Father Andy Riley. No. <laughs> Father Desmond Coyne. Father George Byrne. No. Father David Nicholson. Father Declan Lynch. I'll give you a clue. No clues! <laughs> I'll get it in a second. <laughs> Father Ken Sweeney. Father Neil Hannon. Father Keith Cullen. Father Kieran Donnelly. Father Mick McAvoy. Father Jack White. Father Henry Big Bigging. Father Hank oh, Tree. Father Hiroshima Twinkie. <laughs> Father Stig Mick Mulcair. Twinkie. Mick Twinkie. Mick Twinkie. Hello, Mick Twinkie. <laughs> Father Johnny Helsapoppin. Father Luke Duke. Father Billy Furry. No. Father Chewy Louie. <laughs> Father John Hoop. Father Harry Cake Lynham. <laughs> Father Rabula Conundrum. <laughs> Father Pee Wee Stairmaster. Nope. Father Tight Head Lips. Father Jemima Rack-Tool. <laughs> Father Jerry Twig. No. Father Spodo Komodo. <laughs> Father Canabrama Lammer. Father Todd Umptious. Yes! Well done! <laughs> what was it? Father Jerry Twig. Todd Father Spodo Komodo. <laughs> Father Canabrama Lammer. Father Todd Umptious. Yes! Well done! <laughs> Todd Hunters. <laughs> yeah. Todd Hunters. Good job. <laughs> Is that it, really? Did, did you get it? Ah, uh, come on, Ted. You knew already. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. I, I was just amazed that she got it in, wow, well under an hour. <laughs> well done, Mrs. Doyle. <laughs> so, Todd. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> <laughs> Todd, Todd, Todd. <laughs> old Todd. There you are now, Todd. Good old Todd. <laughs> How you getting on there, Todd? <laughs> How are you fixed for a cup of tea, Todd? Oh, would you prefer a hot toddy, Todd? <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want, Todd. Anything at all, Todd. Todd. What time is the ceremony, Ted? Well, Todd, it's not really a ceremony. I'm sure it'll be just a very plain, simple affair. <laughs> Feedback here, Sean. Sean. <laughs> Excited, Ted. Yes. <laughs> Something to tell the grandchildren about. <laughs> no, I need to be faster than that. Okay, well, you'll need to cue me. I'll be looking. Sir also won't be able okay, to see you. Okay, no problems, okay? So, up, up look, look, down. Hebrews, Rachel, never cease. Dominus, salve, turum. Tell you what, change the Dominus to Canis, right? The... Sorry, I'm sorry, what's your name? Sean. Sean, sorry, I don't mean to get at you, but I just need you there on the day, you know? A second or two and I'm dead out here. Is anybody organised around here? You don't want to talk to me. Do you want to talk to that priest over there? Who? Right? Over there. The lads, when the rhythm kicks in and the song reveals itself through the counter rhythm, I want you there and I want you ready, OK? <laughs> Anyhow, where's Todd? I thought he wanted to... <laughs> this is just a big <laughs> priest mess. Yep. Happy Priestmas. Happy Priestmas. How about that? Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Yeah. See this. Hi, who's Ted and who's Dougal? Uh, I'm Ted and that's Dougal there. <laughs> I'm Dougal. He's Ted. I need to open the stage, Father. 
Why does he need you by the stage? He, he, no, he must mean me. No. Look. Darn. Ted. Dick Mayo. Hello. Congratulations on the Golden Cleric. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Ted, have you ever thought about doing any television work? Well, it had crossed my mind, yes. yes. Do you have an agent? No. I'll tell you what. Give this idea a call. It's done wonders for me. Well done, man. Father Eric Sweeney. Right. The parochial house is burnt down. Encounter Father Jack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the noise Nora makes when she licks yes. herself. It's so aggravating. And welcome to the fifth annual presentation of the Golden Cleric. Every year, the Catholic Church gives an award to a priest for outstanding achievement. This year's winner is someone who's overcome controversy in the past when rumors of financial irregularities threatened his oh. career in the No, 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 no! But following a fair investigation, no formal charges no. were ever made against but him. But he was just resting in my account. Even though authorities were confused by what they saw as bizarre irregularities in his accounts. Not enough of that now. But he's overcome all these personal setbacks to become this year's golden cleric. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Father Ted Crilly. <laughs> I hope he doesn't start going on about himself and settling old scores in public. Well. <laughs> well, well, well. You know what they should have done when they, before they gave him a award? What? Gave him a jingle. Gave him a jingle? Father Ted. <laughs> you love that. I do. Come on, do it. One more time. Please. Why? Because it's cute. <laughs> it can't be forced. It has to come. Come on, just do it. Father Ted, Father Ted. <laughs> I love you. You okay? You... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Father Ted. There you go. I, uh, I see some familiar faces here today. Some welcome. Some not so welcome. <laughs> it looks as if I've had the last laugh on a lot of people who really didn't think I had it in me to become a brilliant priest. Well, what I say to those people is, look at me now. <laughs> but eventually, I got out of this headlock. Oh, and no. now, where are you, Father Eamon Hunter? <laughs> Working with some pygmies in the South Seas, and where am I? Here, accepting a Golden Cleric Award for being a top priest. <laughs> yes, of course. He thought it would be a great idea, great fun to pour water on this young novice's mattress. But of course, 30 years later, the smile has been very much wiped off Father Barry Kiernan's face. <laughs> and now, oh, we move on uh, to liars. Oh, <laughs> 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 Father <laughs> Peter Sorrenton. Father Desmond Cairns, remember him? Well done. Um, great speech, Ted. <laughs> it went well, didn't it? And you mean to tell me you was wandering around in there for three hours? Yes. It's Ireland's biggest lingerie section, I understand. <laughs> Tea for everyone. Uh, all right. Uh, no, Mrs Doyle, you can put that away and relax there. Uh, we're going to try out the tea master. How does it work, Ted? Well, can I not just put the milk in? No, you see, what you do is just leave the cup there, <laughs> slide in one of these cartridges here, and the tea just comes out there. Ah, simple. That's fantastic. Yes, well, now that I've won an award, I can hardly be seen drinking tea that's just been made in a pot. <laughs> the uh -oh. idea. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Her faces kill me, dude. <laughs> she has good faces. <laughs> Please don't make these faces. It just seems too good to be true. What's the catch? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Father. Your voice is just so boring, I couldn't concentrate on it. <laughs> well, I do have an incredibly boring voice. I was just saying, what's the catch? 
Is that the kind of voice that you fall asleep to? Whenever I have one of my uh, documentaries on? I love documentaries. <laughs> she has this thing where she falls asleep the easiest when there's a documentary playing in the background and it's always like, and the Germans marched down the Rhineland. No, it's not and even it was, that. It was the Brits and the Americans who stopped them. <laughs> you you sound like you're doing a um, planet, like planet Earth voice mixed with a war reenactment voice. Okay, yeah. That's what yours sounded like. Yeah. But yeah, that's how she falls asleep real easy. <laughs> Sorry, didn't get it there either. Ed! I've been thinking about the Tea Master thing. There must be some sort of a catch. What? Oh, no. There's no catch. No. Just, just watch this. You see? Perfect. Oh, wow! Oh, oh. Um, actually, there's someone. Uh, 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 there's actually someone. Are you all right there, Father? Yes, but it's actually quite hard to, to breathe. If you could just. Uh, what? I really am finding it quite hard. Just get up. What? Dougal, put on that music. What? Put on the music that makes Father Jack stand up. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Father Jack likes us all to stand up when that bit of music comes on. <laughs> sing! Sing! It is him. It is him. I just realized I'd be laughing harder, but like th this is tired. This has tired me out. I know my cheeks hurt. Yeah, so my bad. cheeks hurt so bad right now. Oh man! Father, will you have a go at this with me? Get away! I uh, know, Father. It's just a bit of fun. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, well, we, uh... <laughs> they were like, who is this crazy man? Oh, my <sighs> God. Oh. We're going to sleep good tonight. I hope. This is draining, watching this. We sort of thought Father Jack was jumping through that window a good a too often. That's why we put in the plexiglass. <laughs> anyway, my speech. What did you think of it? We all have a look at the Christmas film. Yes! <laughs> that was Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. And now, a special extended Latin Mass from St. Martin's Cathedral in Dublin. <laughs> oh, great. Mass. <laughs> they say it was in Dublin. God, I just remembered, I'm supposed to be doing something terribly important. And, and the, the, the thing I'm supposed to be doing, I just remembered, I've, I've got to telephone this fella on death row that I befriended recently because he's being executed tomorrow <laughs> for mass murder. So, you know, I would say he's pretty low at the moment. God almighty, and did he do it? I don't know. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> do you want any help what? talking to him? Because he might get hysterical and start crying. And I could say, pull yourself together, man. All right. There's been a big accident, so I should go too. <laughs> I've got a phone call there. While you were all... Uh, <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> so, uh, right, so, we're all off, so. Father Unctious, you coming too? I could get you a lift. Uh, no, I'll stay a while. Ah, oh, great! Mass! <laughs> Father Alton Crosby is doing it. I'm a huge fan of his. He gives good mass. He what? 
He really, he really knows how to work the altar. Look at that chalice work. Effortless. <laughs> oh, well, we'd be off, so. Uh, see you all soon. <laughs> right. See you. <laughs> Great. God bless you. <laughs> Bye. Uh, thanks for coming to the award ceremony where I got my award. <laughs> Eight seconds later. That's it. Oh no. That's all it took? Oh no, I see a little giant's head. <laughs> now on BBC One, the director's oh, car with extra dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, never mind. Now he watches TV. It was, it, it was, it was about a dinosaur. Day. Oh, it was, Ted. It was a brilliant day. Fantastic fun. I'd say it was one of the best Christmas days ever. Dougal, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> All right. Uh, so was I. <laughs> and who's that fella, Todd Unctious? I didn't invite him, did you? Huh? No, that's right. I barred you from inviting people to the house after that tramp stayed for a week. <laughs> Remember that when I was away? That wasn't a tramp, Ted. That was the Prime Minister of France. <laughs> no, Dougal, he just lied to you. <laughs> Todd Unctious. I don't remember him at all. Who the hell is he? Maybe he had a nickname, like, you know, Terry Wogan. Terry Wogan? <laughs> What's his nickname? What? You mean that's his real name? <laughs> anyway, don't worry about it, Ted. Sure, he'll be gone in the morning. <laughs> that's one of the creepiest things you could ever encounter. <laughs> he has such a creepy, like, little smirk right now. <laughs> And he's shirtless. <laughs> oh my god. What if I came in the room like that? <laughs> That's really I nothing, funny. I had nothing on. That's really funny you just said that because I was about to say I've seen that face from you before. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Wow. This uh this reaction video is getting quite revealing. <laughs> there you are. Hello there. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Look at you lying in there like a big Egypt. Oh, no! <laughs> well, here we all are now, all the lads. <laughs> Look at Dougal's face! Do you remember all the fun we used to have in the showers? <laughs> Do you still, do you still have the big oil hairy arse? <laughs> Fluff. <laughs> what are they calling over there? Bum fluff. You guys call bum it bum fluff. fluff, yeah. They call it bum fluff over there. Bum That's fluff. one of my favorite, uh, I think I learned that from one of the Inbetweeners episodes. Oh my god. Bum fluff. Bum fluff. Uh, Todd, that, that wasn't hair, that was a bit of downy fluff. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh God, memories. Do you remember the time you all mitched off to the Dana concert? I couldn't go because I was recovering from a massive car accident. <laughs> Did I show you the scar? There you are. See that crescent shape there? God, yes, yes. And that series of tiny little indentations all along me inner thigh. It's <laughs> really, really, um... They run the whole way up to me groin. Oh, hey, hey, um, <laughs> have you been watching the pictures? I really fancy seeing a good film. Ah, oh, Ted, it's half past one in the morning. Right. You go off to sleep. I was just wandering around. Sometimes I can't sleep and I need a good walk to calm myself down. You don't mind, do you? No, 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 you do that. All right, so, good night. And... Happy Christmas, Ted. Oh. They say Happy Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot, I forgot about that. Happy Christmas. We say Merry Christmas. Merry they Christmas. They say Happy Christmas. Although some people here think we shouldn't say Merry Christmas. Why? I don't know. Why can't it be Merry? I don't know. Why does it have to be Happy Christmas? I don't know. I'm just saying. No, they want you to say Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays. Happy holidays. 
Happy holidays, oh yeah. Happy holidays, oh yeah. Oh, you're breaking it down. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Oh. I'd buy your. This Christmas is the album. most fun reaction video I've ever done. <laughs> I'd buy your. I must say. Album. Yeah. This is. Oh, you would. Yeah, I would. Oh, really? Yeah. Most fun reaction video I've Just ever Bri done. Brian. Brian. Or oh, I was gonna use your real name, Keen Boomer. Sings your favorite Christmas songs. Which one's my real name? What? Which one's my real name? Keep Boomer. Yeah? That's your real okay. name. People <sighs> say, who are you dating? I say, Keem Boomer. Lord of the Muppets and protector of the Boomerites. Yes. That is, that is me. He's like a wired up grandpa. Yes. Grandpas Hold do on. that too. They stand out with what just like their briefs oh, on. They don't and they're, care. Like, they're like, I'll tell you a story right now for an hour and a half. And you're gonna listen to it and stare at my whitey tatties. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> She's broken again. Why? I couldn't think of like an old grandpa. I think of like standing in his tiny tighties. He's just looking out at the lawn and he's like, the raccoons dug holes again. <laughs> That's the first thing out of their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Whinging about the raccoons. Well, have you ever seen the, there's a, a YouTube video where this lady's videotaping a deer and she's like, Look at how beautiful the deer are that her husband sneezes. And he's like, ah, chew. And then the deers go, oh, and they run away. And she's like, wow, nice, Jerry. And he goes, oh, what? We're not allowed to sneeze anymore. And I thought that was like such an old people fight. It is. And I thought it, it was really funny and cute. It is. He's like, oh, God, what? We can't sneeze now. <laughs> he's like, we can't sneeze. The deer are going to hear it. The deer might hear it. The deer might, might hear it. I'm not going out of this room until tomorrow. I don't want to risk bumping into that weirdo in his nudiness. <laughs> in his nudiness. Oh, no. Oh, it's Jack this time. <laughs> it's a massive bottle. Get away from that award! Take off! <laughs> it's just you, father. Listen, um, turn off the light before you come up, won't you? And uh, please, don't slam the door. Killed me, dude. The little guy with the neck. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so random. Oh. <laughs> Birds bursting out of the trees. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that was the skier guy. That was the skier piece. Yeah. Oh, this is such a goofy episode. I love it. Say the burglar is definitely in the room. <laughs> there he is! Where? Where? Hurry! Do good, do good, do good, 
you'll have nightmares. Dougal, I thought I told you not to watch that film. Uh, uh, Ted, no, I wasn't watching it, Ted. I just came down to uh, walk, uh, carry the milk around. <laughs> Go on, Dougal, up to bed with you. <laughs> Hello, Your Holiness. <laughs> President Robinson, well done on everything. <laughs> Mr. De Niro. Bob, Bob, I loved you in Godfather too. <laughs> Todd. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what a show. He oh. won't be doing any more burglaries where he's going. Oh, where's that? Well, uh, prison. Yes, of course, of course, sorry. But, Sergeant, tell me, how did you know so much about me? I'm curious about that myself. Unctious, if that's your real name. I already told you it wasn't. How did you know so much about Father Crilly? Is this off the record? Of course. Well, I was in Selridge a few days ago. Got talking to this old priest in a bar. <laughs> he was a bit cagey at first, but a few shots of JD and he was singing like a bird. The golden cleric, they call him. Giving it to an old pal of mine, Ted Crilly. Met him on Dolly Man Strain. All I needed was the right costume. Out of nowhere. <laughs> God damn, housekeeper. What a pain in the ass. He was just wearing the same outfit when he was talking. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, why? Ah, it's a long story. I used to be like you. A completely average, bog-standard, run-of-the-mill cleric. <laughs> and then I won first prize in the County West Mead Priest of the Year competition. <laughs> I guess it went to my head. After that, I started hitting the altar wine too hard. Going easy on people in confession. <laughs> Getting backhanders for doing quicker masses. <laughs> All I wanted was trophies and prizes. But the one that really got me hard was the Golden Cleric. No, 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 Todd. Uh, what I was going to ask you is, uh, you're a priest. I mean, why did you take the other priest's clothes? <laughs> no, I don't know. It was just going that way. <laughs> because why Good not? Good answer. I accept because that. Because why not? I accept that answer. Because why not? It was just going that way. Yeah. I've got bad news for you, so-called Todd Unctious. That wasn't off the record. I'm using that as evidence against you. Ah, that's completely unfair. <laughs> Take him away. Uh, thanks, Sergeant. There'll be a reward in this, Father. You both should be very proud of yourselves. <laughs> a reward? <laughs> Not such a bad day after all. <laughs> well done, Fathers. Now... Uh -oh. <laughs> just when you think the show can't get any goofier. It's just so, oh my god. So over the top. Oh my god, so over the top. <laughs> I love that we can see him straight. Yeah, you can just see him. That's a, that's a handy old thing you have there, Mrs. Doyle, huh? Modern technology, it's brilliant, isn't it? It is indeed. And thanks again, Father. It's the best Christmas present ever. What about the tea machine? Oh, <laughs> yes. I'll go and crank it up right now. Explosion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Bart? I don't like the sound. I think so. <laughs> of course he loves that. Of course. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good fart? A lot of people. <laughs> okay. No, that's at all. I'm sorry, Mrs. Doyle. We're just going to have to get it fixed. Oh, no, Father. Don't, please. What? Father, I love the whole tea-making thing. You know, the playful splash of the tea as it hits the bottom of the cup. The thrill of adding the milk and watching it settle for a moment 
before it filters slowly down through the cup, changing the colour from dark brown to a lighter brown, <laughs> perching an optional Jaffa cake on the saucer, like a, a proud soldier standing to attention beside a giant cup of tea. <laughs> oh, just think, Father. Remember all the great times we had when I used to make the tea? <laughs> tea, Father. Yeah, great. Tea, Father. Tea, Father. Great. <laughs> You're right, Mrs. Doyle. You know, tea out of a machine is like milk out of a baby's bottle. The baby doesn't want it out of a bottle. He wants it out of his mother's... Anyway, <laughs> why don't you just go and make us both a nice... No. Bitty. The pillow's too far away to hit you with it. <laughs> Normal cup of tea. Right, oh, Father. And don't you worry. It'll be terrific. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific bloody hell, Dougal. <laughs> you know, Dougal, the priesthood, it's not about awards and glamour. It's about hard graft and attending to the spiritual needs of your parishioners. You know, that Todd Unctuous fella, that could have been me. Really? <laughs> ah, that explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dougal, I don't think you picked up on what I meant there. I could have been a bad priest, you know. I could have been lazy, arrogant, not giving a damn about the needs of my parishioners. Uh, Ted, it's Mrs. Gilcuddy. She wants you to do one of those remembrance masses. I'm not in. All right. Uh, he's not in. Uh, OK, bye. <laughs> oh, my God. We're almost done. We're almost done. You know, Dougal, I'm sorry about my recent silliness. You know, you deserve this award as much as me. Really? Thanks, Ted. That's great. Thanks very much. Well, why don't we just leave it in the case? Oh, you be better, I suppose, yeah. And uh, my name on the plaque, we won't bother changing that. All right. I, I know the award's mine, and that's good enough for me. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to have a bath, you know, help me calm down after the day. OK. <laughs> what are you doing? Just having a bit of a laugh. So what do you think of Father Ted Christmas special? <sighs> well, I'm definitely out of energy. I am but too. that was one of the best things we've ever reacted to, and I think it was the most fun I've ever had doing a reaction oh, video. Oh, really? Yeah, it was. It was really special. And you made it so very special. Did you miss doing reactions yes. with me? Oh, yes. I and so did they. Them. I missed. They doing miss. Them with they miss all the time. Half the comments are like, "Where's Queen Boomer? You're not as good without her." Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm back. I will do more. I am nowhere. Yes, you are. As near as good as I should be when you're not here. Oh my gosh, stop. What? It's, it's nice. the truth. Thank you. It's the truth. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thanks for coming and watching. But yes, I really we've been, did miss you guys. We've been wanting to do this one for a while. Yeah, we have. We just haven't... Our schedules are kind yeah. of opposite now, so... Most times I... Most nights I serve and I don't get done until midnight... And we say we're going to do it in the morning. And then we've been sleeping real hard for the yeah. past couple of days. I don't know why we've been well, so Well, it's because tired. we had a lot of stuff going on during the holidays. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I've been working my butt off to get all this yeah. equipment situated. And now most of it's here and working. And I can do things much better than I could before. So <gasps> it took us a while. Yeah. But uh, I'm very happy with how it turned out. It just Me took, too. took much longer than I awesome. thought it would take. Um, should, should we show them your setup? No. No? Okay. No. It's to, okay, I'm so sorry. To come. No. Because <laughs> I know somebody's going to criticize something. Ow. And I can't reveal... I The other thing is I, I got 
because of those streams I want to do. Uh huh. Coming up eventually, which is probably not gonna be till February, honestly. Yeah. But uh, I don't want to show them the uh, tricks uh-huh. behind the scenes. He's got a trick up his sleeve. Yeah. So I'm hoping to premiere the stream and people are just wowed by it. So prepare to be wowed. I hope. Unless it turns into a disaster, which it might, because a lot of this new stuff is... Then prepare to be woed. I have to, like, learn Woed. how to use everything, so... Yeah. But that was, that was fantastic. That I was loved so good. I that. loved that so much. Yes. And, um... <laughs> there's so many funny... I can't even pick a funny favorite part out of that. <laughs> I really yeah. like that beach scene. I don't know why. <laughs> I know you did, yeah. This little guy on a boat like 10 miles off. I'm gonna get you. I think my favorite was the thief priest. Yeah. Or whatever, when he just opened the door with no shirt on. <laughs> Terrifying. It was so creepy. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, if you got this far, thank you for joining us yeah, on that, thanks for on that ride. That it was a ride. It was a ride. It was definitely a ride. Definitely the best father. I thought they were going to have a baby. <laughs> they were yeah. in a lingerie mall. You didn't know what was going to happen. No. It was definitely a ride. And I liked it. What? I just remember when they dropped the baby off. And then they're like, oh, is this Steve's house? No? Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then you never see the baby again. Does Steve not know he has a baby? Like, or whatever that guy's name was? Yeah. He got a Christmas surprise. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Boomerites, for watching. Um, might have to edit a couple things, but, you know, it is what Not it is. Not too, too much. Not too, too much. Maybe we should save this for the one of, when we start the Patreon, because that's going to be soon, too. Yeah, we could so do that. We'll save the original files, so we can just do an unfettered Patreon unfettered. version of it. Unfettered. Unfe- well, it is going to be feathered because the camera got too hot and turned off halfway unfeathered. through. Unfeathered. Unfeathered? It's going to be unfeathered, too. Unless you want me to dress up like Big Bird. No. I'm good. No. Okay. That's terrifying to you? Yes. I used to be scared of him. <laughs> well, what if Kermit the Frog jumps in? He's okay. And he's like, hey, you want to touch it? <laughs> well, now I have a new fear of Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Do you? Do that voice again. What? You want to touch the bean bag? Come on. No. You've never heard me do that. Voice. No. Oh, she's out of the picture. Okay, we're out of here. Thank you, Boom Rights. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I'm out of here. Say goodbye, Queen. Bye. Thanks for coming. Peace out, Boom Rights. <laughs>